Greetings. Welcome back to an episode of We Are Going to Zoom Out. Uh, because there's no zoom in and out button in this game, because for some reason you have to either activate it or deactivate it with the scroll wheel, and it's hard coded, which is weird. Uh, or maybe it's. Wait a minute. Uh, maybe I'm just stupid finding it. Is it in control? It could be in. Con wait. Uh, menus, combine, interact. Yada 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 yada. Hold to lock target. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, persist target lock on. Yada yada yada. Zoom in game camera. Zoom in game system. System. It's system. Okay. We are looking for system. Toggle frame rate. Okay. Zoom in game camera. Wait a minute. Zoom, 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 zoom. There's no such thing. Hey, look at that. Um. Huh. Look at this. Uh, the controller can zoom. But this one does not. That is weird. We can increase or decrease, like, master volume, right? Which... Is not here at all. Uh, zoom in-game game? Hmm. Huh. Okay, wait a minute. Um, if I have zoom on the wheel, uh, then I can also use a shortcut to zoom in and out of it. Yeah, I should definitely do that. Um, maybe it should be... It should be free, yes. Um... Now the question is, which one is it? It's, uh... Huh. Bottom left, the normal one. Okay. Bottom left, the normal one. Let's see. Uh, bottom left, this one. That one could be free. There we go. Save changes. Now I can zoom in and out. Perfect. Um, so what you have to do is basically use this, uh, oh, look at this, there's even a button telling you what it does. Nice. You just have to remember <laughs> what it's good for. Um, but yeah, it's not, it's not that the free does the thing at the bottom left, it's like the middle wheel bottom left. Oh, wait, I could also do this one here. Oh, that's good. That could be four. Um, mm, yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's see, uh, it's like the right scroll wheel, bottom, no, top right, that could be number four. Reset chat fade has been, oh, wait a minute, chat fade. Uh, chat fade, where is it? <sighs> I'm looking for chat fade. Um, chat a chat is like it could be system uh chat there we go re whisper no chat fade reset chat fade there we go uh resets the fade timer on the text chat window resets what next chat tab? no reply chat message close chat input uh, no, okay except um so this was four before. Uh, what kind of button could I use? Like V, maybe? V for chat? <laughs> uh, or V for visibility? Let's see. The thing is, it it resets it in a way that it opens it up again. Uh, but okay. So, three is the zoom and four is the potion. Um, what happens if we use potion multiple times? Does it actually work? Like we can use it this way, right? Um, hmm. I have to be careful not to use four by accident. But I think the button is far enough away. Slay the resurrected gods. Gods! And I can also use this in order to train my muscle memory. There we go. That. There we are, but we need to do AOE for this, otherwise it takes too long. Okay. Just ignore the normal dudes. There you go. 
How long do they actually follow you though? Hellbinder. Oh, it's just resurrected. Oh. Oh, ooh. oh, okay. Don't get too close to the Hellbinder, otherwise, it's good. Interesting mechanic. Oh, not again. I must wait a moment. Come on. Have the courtesy and die already. Come on. There we go. It's just really interesting how the bodies just disintegrate and turn to skeletons all the time. Scroll up and scroll up and scroll down and scroll up and scroll down and scroll up and scroll scroll up. There we go. Oh wait, oh Where that was stupid on my part. Um Stupidity. I need time to do that. I was just focusing on using the scroll wheel and uh, not on surviving. And these things are just an abomination. See that? This dash can be deadly. And then there's also an e explosion. So these enemies are definitely not the nicest to be around. There are others that are much, 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 much sweeter. I'm not ready yet. Ooh. Nice. No. Oh, that's hard. Yeah. He did the sword, sword, sword ability. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, it's one of the iffy dungeons now. Maybe I should just uh, use the force attack like this, a stationary attack, and not use the scroll wheel at all. Maybe use the scroll wheel of some. Nah, no. Nah. The thing is, if I use the scroll wheel, then I have to move my left mouse button away, right? And it's not going to use the movement thing. But anyway, let's just see. Maybe I can make it work, though. Come on. Okay. There. What does this get over here then? Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Interesting. There. That's just. Oh, wait a minute, look at this. It's actually a very, 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 very slow enemy. You can uh, stand behind them and evade their attacks. That's pretty interesting. So, anyway. What a Ooh, that's actually better. Ooh, that is better. And it has the same one for Hurricane, which is sweet. Uh, what do we got? Willpower goes a little bit down, but uh, intelligence is focused, of course, but this is just resource generation, resistance to all elements. Uh, What's resistance? Half ish. Hmm. <laughs> Would that be worth it? I don't know. Let's just keep it around. 
That one goes away, and uh, that one goes away as well. Not high enough numbers. So, uh, time for us to not die constantly. Oh, what is this? Activate the levers. Where are the levers? I don't see any levers. Ah, there. That's lever number one. And that's lever number two. Okay. Okay, now we can do it. Now we can do it. There we go. Travel to the cabin. So this goes forward. That means that we have to go this way now. And then a bit further sideways. Chance of like two of those tornadoes coming up is pretty fun. Uh, what is the chance of it, by the way? 20%. Mm. Each time you cast a you have 20% chance to spawn an additional tornado, which is an increase of damage of 20%. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Straight up forward or the other way. The turn the blood star. Uh -huh. oh. Hmm. oh wait a minute, I can do this now. Huh. Tornado madness, come on. As long as this thing is active, I should utilize it for the force. Nice. Yeah. I must wait a minute. This is amazing. If I just stand still, right, and move the scroll wheel up and down. Well, standing still, right, that's the problem. I just get the message that it's not working, but once the tornado is working, it just casts the tornado, whatever. That's actually pretty, 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 pretty neat. Kind of love that. So, now, nah, more movement speed. Again. Woo. So it goes up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. <laughs> uh. Right, which way do we go? This way, probably. And then there is a... Oh! We my, my mm -hmm. Yes, on yes, own. yes. Okay, that one goes... Uh, oh, that's actually pretty good. Do, 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 do. 
See that? Like how the how the thing flickers around, that's pretty sweet. I'm not ready yet. Alright. Damage check is not possible anymore. Again. I must wait a minute. Yeah. Ah. Uh, not dealing enough damage. That's just not possible. Okay, Ravens. Um. Well, I could actually use that. That's pretty decent. Not a ten percent increase though, but uh, still somewhat possible. Ah, uh, seven something new. Mm, critical strike damage. Yeah. Bah, what about the other one? 18, 15. Bah. Just don't know what to do with this thing. I could put like some, uh, some diamonds in it though. That could help. Ah. could try a hotkey thing that switches the buttons every time I just press one button. So it either does a basic attack or a core ability and it just does a switcheroo thing because it doesn't really matter uh, if the ability is ready or not. It's just how it is. Ooh. I'm not ready yet. Get into the raven, get into the raven, get into the raven field. Yeah, nice. Hmm. Return the bloodstone to the path. Wait a minute. There are multiple bloodstones around. Very interesting. Not just one. That's bloodstone number one. And, uh, yeah, there are more. Let's just quickly go down. See, okay. What's this thing here? Enemy that should be dead within like two hits, if any. So weird. Okay, oh, let's move on forward. Da 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 da. Oh, I think you can lure the enemy pretty much indefinitely, as long as you are inside a dungeon. How long do they follow you? The problem is I can't even test this because the uh, the wolves are always present. What do we got here? What is this? Oh, curse try. Not nice. What do we need to do? Defeat five ways. Okay.
That's wave one, number one. Nah. Damage check is not possible. Yeah, we are halfway there and we didn't even defeat it properly. That's just awful lot more damage. Um, looks like it resets. Oh no. There was a different uh, effect that happened at the same time. Interesting. Okay, what about this? Um, fair stuff. Da 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 da. Pretty decent, but nope. Critical strike, yes. Um, but no. And uh, I mean, the resistances are pretty neat, though. Ultimate skill damage. I'm not using the ultimate, and uh, no. In terms of level, it's not even better. Something to keep in mind all the time. Higher levels are always better, Wesley. Okay, now let's bring that in there. Oh, wait a minute. I, I don't time. even know if you can carry more than one item around. Hmm. Yeah, the movement speed should actually increase. Like, the first one is 25%. And the second one should be 50% and then uh, 75, 100 or whatever many you need to carry, right? There we go. Uh. Oh, healthy again, come on. Poison creeper bonus though. I love myself those poison creepers. I'm not ready yet. Ooh, yes. Hmm. Needy. What do we got? Uh nothing, nothing. That one can also stay there. Uh, ability. So I got my fortify stuff. Reduce the ration of crowd control by over 3%. Ah, three times, so that means 9%, 10... I mean, that could be the difference between life and death from time to time. Do we want to focus on that? Um, I want to max out companions. I have... Okay, that's 10 more points to spend. Uh, definitely cannot max out all of them. <laughs> so... Either I should go for, like... Defensive uh, orientation down here. More fortify or whatever. Mm. Fortify bonus chance uh, when struck. Okay, so this one fortifies me. This one fortifies me. Um, this one heals me, which is good. 
but only skills that consume spirit and there's only one skill that consumes spirit and it's um it's a fixed thing meaning that if i were to use a different skill that uses less spirit then uh, i would heal more yeah uh, i could heal more with a, a lesser spirit cost thing like what you need to do is get this thing here and that would heal you much more because it only costs you 15 spirit per strike and that's one of the lowest you can have yeah you can cast this multiple times in a row uh therefore heal you for more percentage right uh instead of just wasting all of that spirit for one cast that's a little bit iffy okay now what about the ravens though ravens are cool ravens deal damage that's pretty sweet but when it comes to critical strike chance is increased by da 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 i guess enemy strangled yeah um hmm. okay this one just does more damage. That's more utility thing. Uh, what about this thing? Wolf of Steel increased damage to mobilize. Da, 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 da. Yeah, sure. It's nice that they deal more damage. Um, 20% against the mobilized. So this one does more damage and makes, uh, makes it crit. This one does more damage against targeted ones. And this one just does damage in general. Uh, so I should max out this one first. With all the companions, or I should focus on uh, this one here. Question: How much is it? Uh, it's a hundred percent. No, I should focus on the percentage. Mm, the percentage of damage. This is a hundred and seventy. This one is, yeah, one hundred and how much is this? Fourteen seconds even. So you can use it much, much more. Same with that. One twenty. Uh, direct your wolves to focus on enemy leap to them and strike for it's a strike four, but I have two wolves Does it mean it's a general strike? Mm, or is it a strike per wolf? <laughs> uh, oh, yes, and I also need like non-physical resistance just in case that would be helpful Then there's also the uh, spirit management that could help mm. And then tornado sometimes I can make two of them meaning that the damage increases to hundred and six percent Um yeah, it's definitely not high enough, and you need spirit for this first, so it's not a safe thing. This one is just there to trigger vulnerability, to be honest. This one is there to make them vulnerable as well, so this makes enemies vulnerable. And then what I need to do is um, do something against vulnerable targets. Uh, uh, question. Uh, more damage against the leads. This is a healing thing, but only for consumption stuff. Hits enemy stealing. Okay. This is just more often. There we are, up to 30% chance when dealing damage to a vulnerable um, immobilized or stunned enemy that lightning bolt. Okay. Uh, good. So what I need to do is just trigger vulnerability and then do damage to them somehow. Then the lightning strikes does damage. Uh, that one cannot be increased. Mm. What about the rest? Poison enemies are slow. Well, they are mobilized mostly, so it doesn't doesn't matter. Um, crowd control is good, but it doesn't increase my fortification. This is fortification. This is survival. Survival, survival. Uh, that's just there. I don't really need it for the damage. I would say, but it could be helpful. Anyway, survival, survival. Mm, damage. Not usable. Uh, increase damage to distant enemies. Double this amount if they are also slow. The thing is, how far is distant? Uh, but this is also just damage stuff. This is also there for survival. And this is damage. But yeah, crit strike, right? Against close enemies is increased by 2%. If I stay right next to them, right? This... Is a centric ability. This is a centric ability, meaning that the damage is probably close, right? Um, meaning that it should crit very, 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 very often. I should actually take this one, um, just in case. And this one does more damage on the core skill, but it also increases the cost of it, wasting uh, precious spirit and therefore making the uh, vulnerability not trigger, right? Because this one. Is supposed to trigger vulnerability. It's not supposed to deal damage necessarily, right? The damage comes from other sources, but this is a vulnerability trigger. 
Uh, meaning that I don't need to increase its damage that way. It's just there to be there and to be spammable. Mm, but the damage comes from these sources. Okay. Yeah, the damage comes from these sources. So let's focus on the companions. Um, Alright. And this is there for the damage reduction. Uh -huh. And it also is there for you, you to trigger the lightning on them. Okay. Uh. Critical strike against close enemies. Does the lightning, if it strikes right next to you, also count as close? I think so. Maximum spirit. I don't need maximum spirit. I don't need that. I mean, this is pretty sweet. That means I can do a little bit more damage with a tornado. 20% vulnerability. 10% vulnerability. But I have two tornadoes sometimes. Uh, which also increases it. This is like 3 seconds vulnerable. This is also 4 seconds vulnerable. So this one is much better than that. Um, so what I can try to do is get rid of a point in here. Right? Uh, maybe even more. And uh, place them in the critical, so that the damage gets multiplied, and uh, I can do some damage checks. That is something uh, that I could try to do, so let's do that. Uh, so I have two from item contribution, so I can at least get... There we go, down to three, I think. Um, can I get less than that? No. You need to at least get one point in here, and the other... Stuff can come from contribution. But now I have close crit strike. That should do it. Critical strike chance is now 6%. And it does not say that I get more than that. Yeah, it doesn't say that. I don't know. Damage with shadow, vulnerability, crit strike. Yeah. It does not say that. It gets completely ignored. Completely. Hmm. Wait. Ooh, damage over time cannot critically strike. This is a damage over time. Come on. Uh, okay, so this is an instance. This is an instance and this is a damage over time. Um, this is an instance and this is an instance. So, okay. If damage over time cannot critically strike, then getting a um, critical strike against close enemies for all of this build and uh, stuff like that does not help me. Okay. So... If damage over time cannot critical strike and most of this stuff is damage over time, <laughs> then I don't need critical strike. Is there another way to uh, boost our damage though? What do we have here? Critical damage over time cannot critical This is so stupid. Um, the chance of overpower cannot increase. Da, da, da. Damage over time, passive abilities, and channel skills cannot overpower. Okay, so I don't need overpower and I don't need critical strike because it does not work with damage over time. And I do damage over time, mostly. Um, vulnerability works with it. It's the only one. Um... So, critical strike, chance, all of this, I can kind of, I can completely ignore that, except for the wolves. Uh, the wolves are the only one, and like, castable abilities like that. Hmm. Hum, 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 hum. But this makes our build actually very, very simple, because we can just cut down uh, possible build options. Uh, I don't even need to think about maxing a specific thing in here. But we would also lose out on a lot of damage. Okay, so that means we just need a fixed damage increase like this. 8%, right? Uh, we can bypass that. So where do I need to place that? Uh, in the... Uh, I mean, if that one does not deal any damage... And it's just there to trigger things. That means... I could uh, um, place it in here for the survival or up here in order to spam more tornadoes. 
Matt could help me. Uh, this is just there to deal more damage in general. Or I could go with the ravens, because I like ravens. Okay, let me just think about it for a moment. Let me just think about it. Uh, that one is lightning bolt, but this is a time-sensitive thing. No one can't be increased. Uh, the other way would be to just increase our fortify and get our healing. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? I cannot get rid of this other point. That one has to be placed somewhere else. That was a, uh, that was a stupid point. Uh, let's take that one. Yeah, I can't use that. Meaning that I can use this. And then it can take this and generate more spirit. I don't need max spirit. And I also don't need to do more damage with this. Uh, I just need to use it for the spam. Meaning that uh, more spirit generation is good. And then... I could try that instead. Okay. Yeah. Let's try a survivable like that. I know it took a little while to figure this out, but uh, it does make sense. I hope. Why am I, like, fortified to more than half of my... That's weird. Where does the fortify come from? Uh... Oh. Ugh. Okay, skills... You for two... And... Increase. This is stun immobile and... Knockdown. That's the bonus thing. What fortifies me? This stuff fortifies me. No, it doesn't. Yeah, attacks have up to a 10% chance to fortify you for 5% base. Yes. Uh, Wolf Steel. Da da da. Ravens, when activated, makes them vulnerable. I have two Ravens. It's actually just the active effect that is really good, right? Um, if you think about it. And then... This is a 100% vulnerability thing. Meaning that this will always be there, and I can completely ignore the other stuff. The poison duration is increased, the critical st strike chance is actually pretty... <laughs> I don't need critical strike chance, um, if everything is damage over time related, right? Hehe. <laughs> uh, use damage to immobilize, da da da, or poison enemies, yes. Or poisoned, hmm. So how long is that? It immobilize, wait a minute. Um, every seven seconds it applies da 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 poison damage over so on so on. Okay. Uh, but this is only for the active, right? Active pose, yes. Three seconds. Immobilize immobilizes them for three seconds. Um, and the damage over three seconds. Okay. Wolf steal more damage if an enemy is poisoned. That's actually very interesting. And the poison stuff is there for longer. Oh, this is good. Okay. Let's move it to poison. See what it does. Uh, did it just double the damage? Wait a minute. 3,000 on the active? Yes! Oh, shit. That was not what I wanted. Double the damage! Amazing. I love it. Okay. Um, right. So, damage over time. Here we go. Then up to da, 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 um, when dealing damage, any damage to a vulnerable enemy, and they're always vulnerable. <laughs> so this one would make it always vulnerable, but this is a periodic thing. Mm. It's funny, but it does not quite do it. And this would trigger this almost all the time. Um, the periodic thing. It's three ravens. It's every five seconds. It's not that much. The damage of it, the the active uh, is something more important, I would say. So let's do that. Then I like to have more ravens, sure, but the ravens, the passive ravens, are not dealing as much. 
Okay, um, I need to focus on vulnerability most of the time. So this one, enemies uh, damaged by tornado are slowed by 100% slowed. Or like, the chance of them being slowed is 100%. And... Uh, what is this one? Up to... Da -da -da, uh, no, wait a minute. How do we... Increase the damage? Wasn't there something that increases the damage against slowed enemies? No. I thought there was something against slowed enemies or so. I don't know. The wolves' attacks have up to a yeah. Fortification is good. Mm. Increase damage. There we go. Two immobilized. <laughs> Stunned, slowed, or poisoned enemies. I can slow them. Yes. Uh, with a tornado. And I can also make them poisoned like that. The thing is, vulnerability always increases the damage. Uh, okay, what about this one? Uh, you have to spawn an additional one. But it's not 100% sure that it works, right? So this one is 100% slow. And this one is... Who are damaged? Uh, I'll slow it by so and so much for two seconds. How long is that? Uh, by 8% for three seconds. So the slow is longer. Therefore, making the damage uh, increase longer as well, wasn't it? 20% increased damage, but... Okay, so this would be more damage. And that one would also deal more damage, but what about the prepare itself? Hmm. Questions upon questions upon questions. Enemies affected by hunting and deal less damage. Yeah, 15% chance to make the enemy vulnerable for 3 seconds. It's always the chance, right? I don't want the chance. I mean, wind shear and movement speed is cool and all, but uh, more spirit is always good. It's a very high chance to make them vulnerable, and the raven is 100%. Uh, the raven is 100%. And then it triggers this all. Okay. Let's just hope that this works. Vulnerable. Bam. It should... Okay. Lightning doesn't seem to happen all the time, huh? Good. Okay. So, how would we increase our damage, then, if we cannot really crit? Uh, if crit is basically no option for us. The way to improve our damage would be to do this one. Damage to crowd-controlled enemies, plus so and so much percent. And, because crowd-controlled and slowed are basically two different things, I think. I actually have to look this up. Um, because there's like a, uh, a variable for slow, and then there's also a variable for... Where is the thing? Um... Resistances, cooldown, damage to close enemies. Eh, it's also a thing. Damage over time. That's all. This is all uh, variable. Damage to crowd-controlled enemies, and then there's slow. So if I can crowd-control them, I don't know if slow counts as um, crowd-control, but you can be okay. And I also don't know how the variable is added um, together. Right? It could be additive. It could be multiplicative. So that slow and um, Okay, what's this one? It's a plus so and so much percent. Uh, uh, plus so and so much percent. Plus so and so much percent. But are those two values added together or are they multiplied together? If they are multiplied, that would be amazing. If they are added together, then eh, that's not so good. So that means we have to read up on the damage calculation. Oh, wait a minute. Leeches. Oh, you have to evade. Ah, okay.
ist meine Tinte. Why can't I? Okay, no, yeah, I just have to wait until the whole thing is gone. That's a bit iffy. Interesting. So this yellow bar there uh, just tells you that you can apply a hefty stun later. There. No, 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 no. Am I going to die from this? Uh, maybe. There we go. That's cool. There we go. Nice. I don't know. Kind of felt as if we are dealing less damage than usual. I don't know. Uh, defeat the bishop. Was that it? Yes. I'm still waiting for the chest. Oh.